as much as they are complete broken inbred abominations, you know I couldn't resist seeing a horse horse stampede. It's not every day that you see horses riding other horses, except we're gonna have them charge into my new favorite unit, the Razor Tank. If you guys haven't seen this thing before, you are in for a treat. I kind of wanted that to last a little longer, but short and sweet works. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, where for today's episode we've got even more cursed units from the workshop to check out. Except for this time, a lot of them are looking particularly horsey. And before some smartass tells me in the comments that horse isn't an adjective, like, just know this isn't exactly Totally Accurate Grammar Simulator, okay? And like, trust me, we're soon gonna find out that horse can be made into anything you want it to be. Now, as many of you guys know, Tabs is world-renowned for their unique breed, the Wobbly Horse. You can't find this thing anywhere else. Its body is made of rubber, its knees are made of concentrated madness, and nobody really knows whether or not it has a mind of its own. So we're gonna have a nice bench-level test of a regular old Wobbly Horse, no funny business, this is the thing that comes with the game normally, versus nine squires, because that's around about even money, 940 versus 900. Now, I feel the need to point out out. This is nine human beings, nine monkeys who have evolved to the point of being able to create metal armor and metal weapons and training in the way of the blade versus one dumb animal. And yet I get the feeling these people do not stand a friggin' chance. <laughs> They're just gonna get absolutely run over. You can't even catch this thing. It's like a fart in the wind. You guys are constantly gonna be one step behind turning around trying to look at it. Even if a blade does catch it, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over how stupid this unit is. Even without a rider, it's god level. Come to think of it, over all the years that I've been playing this game, you know, the hundreds of episodes that I've experimented on this wibbly wobbly monstrosity, I don't think I've ever tested horse versus horse in like a 1v1 mirror match. Because the thing is, we haven't even had access to these units until recently. Like, for people who are unaware, you gotta select a custom faction, then change maps and change back. And for some reason, it gives you access to like a hidden debug faction, which lets you select half units like the horse without the rider. So the question is, who's gonna win? My guess would be horse, but I don't exactly see how this is gonna play out. Is this some kind of weird mating ritual? Because I really don't want to see your two rubbery bodies go at it. <laughs> feel like that'd be particularly gross. Hey, hey, where are you going? No, no, don't run off in the woods and bang. Okay, fine, see if I care. Well, now that we all know where wobbly horses come from, I, I guess I might as well give them some privacy while they brew up whatever unit I'm gonna try next. But for now, we're gonna take a look at Captain Sauce's anti-hobbit drone. I don't know if this is gonna be the same thing as the drone that I've already tested, but if you guys are gonna make a flying tomato that can bomb the Shire, then I, I can't really say no. I kind of repurposed the last drone to make it be able to take out hobbits, but apparently this thing is straight from the manufacturer designed to bomb the crap out of these little things. So let's give it the old 100 hobbit test and see exactly what it can do. Okay, it's got a Gatling gun, which seems to make them bounce, and a rocket launcher. I like it. <laughs> they don't stand a freaking chance. They're not getting anywhere close. <laughs> and it's just one of them. So what's gonna happen if I end up using an armada of these things? Other than my computer wishing for death, I would imagine the hobbits will too. That's a lot of explosions. <laughs> I mean, I normally don't appreciate stupidly overpowered units because, like, the battles are too short, I can't really commentate over them, but at the same time, every now and then, you love to see a good hobbit killing. <laughs> Plus, they're such a unique looking unit, who would have ever thought to make a tomato drone? And when it comes to the horse, one common theme that you see across all of tabs is what can you make ride that horse? Is it gonna be a cowboy? Is it gonna be a knight? Is it gonna be a jouster? Is it gonna be a raptor? 
because I think in this case it's gonna be a raptor. This is called the Raptorus Rider, not to be confused with the Raptor Rider, because in this case the Raptor is the Rider, and it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It'd be like me riding into battle on the back of a cheese steak. I don't know if we're gonna have a red team disagreement, which results in one of the two becoming foods, but I'm gonna have him face off against nine squires because that's what we had the regular horse face off against. Let's see how well these two do. Um, they fire magic ballista bolts and seem to be very gymnastically inclined. <laughs> who is riding who exactly? <laughs> I really hope those are magic ballista bolts and not just excess gas. That was entirely unpredicted. As ridiculous as it is, I guess the math kind of checks out. Like, everyone knows if you take a historic warrior and then put him on horseback, then suddenly he's going to be stronger. So if you take a prehistoric warrior and then put him on horseback, suddenly you can fire magic ballista bolts from your butthole. You know, I'm just gonna have them face off against a tank. How about that? Sink or swim, I'm done pussyfooting around. Are you guys gonna become roadkill? Or are you gonna open this thing up like a tin can? That is a whole lot of wind and tank tossage. I kind of expected roadkill there. Hold up a second, I know their one weakness, love. What happens when a rider falls in love with a ridee? Or, or more specifically, when a raptor falls in love with a horse? You guys should do some real weird backflips if Cupid can ever get a shot off. Come on, Cupid, there we go. They were already doing weird flips. So I feel like this isn't helping us all that much. The ballista bolts are still firing. All right, I think I've seen enough of this unit. What did I tell you two earlier about not wanting to watch you bang? This is technically horse horse. And I don't know if the world is ever gonna be ready to defend itself from horse horse, but there's only one way to find out. Let's see how fast and coordinated this thing is at break dancing. Oh, one horse is dead. The squire's actually one for once. Was that a fluke or did two horses cancel each other out like some kind of weird long division? We've already proven that a single horse can take down nine squires easily, like not even a challenge. So if horse horse can't pull it off twice, then I'm thinking there might be something weird about horse-mounted horses. Maybe they're more interested in making love and not war? Or maybe it is like some kind of weird horse fraction. I don't really know. I didn't sign up to do horse math today. As much as they are complete broken inbred abominations. You know I couldn't resist seeing a horse horse stampede. It's not every day that you see horses riding other horses, except we're gonna have them charge into my new favorite unit, the Razor Tank. If you guys haven't seen this thing before, you are in for a treat. I kind of wanted that to last a little longer, but short and sweet works. Let's move on to a unit called Wannabe Horse. Now, I don't know if this is just some kind of furry thing, or if horses have evolved to the point where we need to give them armor to protect their upright nipples. But either way, I can't wait to see how it's gonna do on the battlefield. So we're gonna have a face off against nine squires, the same old horse baseline, and see how it does. Oh, it really charges in there. The rider completely ate it, but the horse is able to dish out some pain. It's not charging, it's throwing haymakers. <laughs> this is the grossest unit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> There's something deeply disturbing about an upright horse just swinging for the fences. Well, as hilarious as they may be, they're not particularly overpowered, so I'm gonna have them face off against some legitimate horses. This is how horse warfare is supposed to be. Or was? You know, maybe they're just stuck in the time. They need to evolve to a point where the riders throw daggers and then die. Except the horses are the real warriors here. 
<laughs> Who needs to throw daggers when you can throw hooves? Here's a million dollar question for you. What happens when you have a unit that is two horses versus a unit that is no horses? I don't know which cavalry is better, but I would imagine we will find out. It's a good opening stampede, but the bodies don't seem to really have that much impact. I don't know what it is, but Horse Horse just seems to charge in and then bounce off anything that it runs into. It's like they're balloons. This next unit isn't really a horse, per se, but it stood out to me because some of you guys may remember in past episodes, I made a unit called Godzilla. He was a 30-story tall, fire-breathing lizard. It's kind of hard to forget. Especially because he suffered from jelly bones and just kept falling down. Like, no matter what I do, he couldn't stand up. But apparently somebody has made it work because this is Tabzilla and he's described as being a challenge to defeat, which makes me think he has the motor skills of at least a toddler. I will say right now, its stance leaves a little to be desired. Like the legs are concerning and I'm not really sure why it's constantly throwing up the Hail Hydra. <laughs> I don't believe this is gonna work. I refuse to believe it. I'm gonna toss down a couple of peasants and see exactly what you can do. Uh, he can fall down. He can fall down and he can poorly breathe fire and fart. So this is just Godzilla. It's just a black Godzilla. He's just as useless. What do you mean challenging? The only thing this is challenging is my patience. Challenging to defeat my ass. I'm gonna blow this thing full of holes just for the principle of wasting my time. Go ahead and fall over. Show us that soft spot on the top of your head where your mom dropped you. Um, okay, it survived quite a few ballista bolts. Now I'm concerned that whoever made this gave it like infinite health, because you could just put in whatever value you want. <laughs> Am I gonna be sitting here waiting for a while? I can wait all day. I know you're not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, I might be able to make this faster though. I've got another custom unit that might serve this exact situation. On the left, we have the regular cheerleader. It's what we're used to, it's been in tabs forever. But on the right, we have the new cheerleader. I have no idea what it does. Somebody made it. I'm hoping it's just a real peppy, super powered cheerleader, which will make our ballistas semi-automatic and hopefully mean that we can cut down Tabzilla quite a bit faster. Yup, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Way to go, ladies. I can feel the cheering. <laughs> Those friggin' legs kill me every single time. It just looks like he's throwing a fit. Like he's an angry kid in a toy aisle who's full of ballista bolts. Don't do that to your kids. While I'm quickly deviating from the horse theme of the episode, I also wanted to show this to you guys. It's called Anime Sauce. And I really like this idea. The Captain Sauce could kind of transition archetypes. Instead of being like the stereotypical superhero, he could be the stereotypical samurai. Again, I have no idea what he does, but if he's Captain Sauce, then he better be able to slice him, dice him himself some hobbits. Okay. We charge through and definitely cut something. What you doing there, bud? Did he just do like the typical anime cut thing? Where you slice something in half and then wait for a second and, and then they fall apart? I've never seen this ability before. I assume this is one of the new things. You're gonna explode, aren't you? Go ahead and explode for me. Oh no, he must have missed. This guy's gonna have to be really trick shot it on. All right, well, I was kind of hoping for the cut and fall apart later rather than the 360 behind the back, but I, I suppose that's pretty cool too. <laughs> I was gonna say, I haven't seen that ability yet, but you guys were telling me that I've missed some new abilities that were introduced to the game. I'm guessing this is one that came to the Shogun or one of the higher level samurais. I'm gonna need to check that out eventually. That was really cool. This was hands down the funniest unit that I found in the workshop this week. Like as soon as I found this, I knew that I needed to find a bunch more horse units to make a video around it. This is the armed horse. And I don't know if you could tell, but if you look closely enough, you might be able to see that it's armed to the tits. 
<laughs> it's got two Gatling guns, so I'm not going to have it face off against nine squires. That seems kind of redundant at this point. I would like a battle to last more than three seconds. So I'm going to have it face off against 60 squires and hope that it has to reload. If it can reload without fingers, should be interesting to find out. It charges into battle and then it somehow shoots wobbly. What are you doing? What? Why would it headbutt? It actually did run out of bullets and couldn't reload. <laughs> I'm not losing my mind. That's what just happened, right? I think the armed horse may actually have the boldest strategy of any TABS unit I've ever seen. Because just to be clear, despite the fact that it's a ranged unit, it still feels the need to wobble into battle because it's a horse and that's just in its nature. But once it can't reload because it doesn't have any fingers, it feels the need to do a handstand and bag tag the enemy in the hopes that it'll be able to grind their nuts into a paste. Oh, oh, it can reload. It figured out how to reload using hooves. Evolution is truly a majestic thing. <laughs> I'm so done with this game, man, I'm telling you. Well, if it's gonna be a bit of a boom or bust unit, then we might as well see how much boom it's actually got. I'm gonna have a face off against a couple of Shogun, because the Shogun can deflect projectiles quite a bit faster than the Samurai can. Question is, can it deflect horse level of projectiles? <laughs> I don't think so. I get the feeling that the horse is a master at blowing its blows. That is not the turn of phrase that I should be using after watching these things bang multiple times this episode. How about some bigger units? I know this technically isn't the map for it, but I would imagine that these guys might be able to absorb enough of the shots to survive and freeze our horsey heroes. Ooh, that was, I was gonna say that was actually really close, but the horse actually won. Like, that is crazy impressive. These things cost like a third as much as the Frost Giant, yet they still came out ahead. How about this? For our last battle, we're gonna go to open warfare. We're gonna have the armed horse against an armed tank or two or half a dozen. Yeah, half a dozen tanks versus a baker's dozen of armed horses. Are these bullets gonna be able to do anything? That's a lot of explosions. Who's alive? Red victory. Red victory. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love this game. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And what a weird, wobbly episode it was. I hope people keep making units, not even just horse units, just units in general. Like, I would love to see this game continue to get more and more creative because like, I've been playing stuff like Paint the Town Red for ages. People keep making amazing stuff for it. It keeps me interested, it keeps me playing. So with something like Tabs, I could play this once a week forever so long as you guys keep making amazing things. So anything you find in the unit creator on the workshop, leave a like, leave a comment, letting me know that you want to see me play it and maybe I'll return to experiment again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.